Hey everybody, welcome to Randy's Road Life. At the moment it's going to be Randy's Mechanic Life. Is I'm here to uh, work on my truck. The heater core is doesn't seem to be functioning, or rather that, it's not that the heater core doesn't function, that it might be clogged up or it might just be broken or needs replaced. So let me show you what I've done so far. Uh, trying to you hear in the background are my kids so so you see I pinched off that line right there uh, with the vice clamps now I'm also uh, do this line over here and I'm going to attempt to see if it is plugged up okay give me a minute all right now let me show you what i did see this right here clamped off undone from here i clamped this off so it's gonna leak out it's gonna leave a big old puddle down there there's gonna be water that's gonna leak from this right here it's gonna take from your reservoir so you may gotta fill you gotta fill that back up remember that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this forward and you're gonna blow through this or with an air compressor. And then if you see this right here, water is gonna blow out of this. It's supposed to, which mine did. So that means that, first of all, this hose is not clogged up. The heater core is also, may, may not be uh, clogged up. So, That means I'm probably gonna need a new heater core. That's what that's probably going to mean. I've also thought about taking this whole thing right here off. Uh, you see this piece right up here? That. And uh, seeing if maybe there's a little bit of clogging that's going up and up in there too. Cause it's possible it could be bridging right there. I'm not really sure. Uh, but this is what goes into knowing your equipment and taking care of your vehicle. So this being the case, uh, I might just go ahead and take this piece off and then unconnect this hose, connect the hose back to the heater core and then blow through that and uh, see what happens. So, uh, still want to own your own truck? I'll be right back. Okay. So, we found out something crucial today. That being that uh, Ohio State's the greatest. Just saying, it's my opinion, but you're entitled to your own incorrect opinion. I'm just joking. Anyways, uh, let me scan back here. Uh, 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 yeah, there we go. That's a good picture. So, what I found out was uh, the new heater core. That's not going to cost all that much. And I can put it in. But what I would like to point out to you is how that how you can do that hold, I'll hold up a second now in case you haven't noticed this truck is a Peterbilt 579 it's a 2016 now my passenger side is loaded with some stuff and I'll show you here uh, I'm sure there's a way I could um, Turn this camera around, but I'm gonna have to turn around manually. So let's let me show you. Now this panel right here, the one I'm pointing at, obviously this comes off. But you're also gonna have to loosen that panel right there at the bottom portion. You're gonna pull that out. You're gonna pull it off, and right over here, that little corner is gonna sit a panel that's about eight to nine inches long and about two and a half to almost three inches wide. Now you're gonna undo that panel. And then when you undo that panel, there will sit your heater core. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, cause you're not gonna be able to pull it out from that side, okay? You're gonna go right here where your heater core is located. And there's gonna be two little uh, holes right there. And then you're gonna take a screwdriver or something that fits in there and you're gonna 
bang on it and it's going to push in towards the cab inner part of the cab and then you're going to pull it out just to remind you there is possibly a small sticker on the bottom of your heater core and it's going to show you what position it's going to be it can only go in one way okay so don't even worry about that it can only go in one way you can't mess it up at least i hope you can't and then uh you're gonna put your new one in the same way that one pulled out and you're gonna hook everything back up the same way uh don't let it intimidate you this is what goes into uh taking care of your truck because let's face it do you want to pay you know 90 120 180 dollars an hour when you can just do it yourself right this is not a monumental task right uh, the issue is there are so many guys like say lease purchase who do know nothing about their equipment all right yes i was raised in this and I've, I've been in it for quite a number of years but still it it doesn't really matter because you can almost youtube anything all right and i'm pretty sure you can probably youtube brain surgery and stuff but i don't know but it's, i'm just saying is there's such a vast amount of um information about these trucks on there there's always a trucker posting something about a truck and what he's doing to it for it against it it doesn't matter it you know just uh google or going on youtube and put in what you're trying to find so uh um how do i fill my coolant reservoir in a 2016 <laughs> peterbilt 579 it's gonna be it's brain it's not it's not brain surgery everybody it, it, it's it's and even though a heat of course is not is, is is not easiest thing, it's not the most difficult thing either. So it's about knowing how to do a lot of the small stuff that you don't need to pay for as far as labor is concerned. So I showed you guys some things. So I hope that helps you out with my 2016 579. I got that little guy right on there. Ew, what the heck just showed up in my in my camera? That? So anyways, we got shenanigans going on behind me. And I, I got to get to that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> see you guys another time. And uh, welcome to Randy's World Life. Please subscribe and like and leave me comments. Ask me questions. Let's carry on a dialogue, a conversation, not a monologue. And uh, let's all move forward with our experiences. And uh, allow us to learn from each other. With that, peace out.